Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for July 30th, 2024. Welcome back to the Sports Rush, your daily fix of sports news and highlights brought to you by SportsNot.com. I'm your host, Scott Branson, and we've got a jam-packed show today, so let's dive right in. First up, the Atlanta Braves are doing some serious shopping. They brought back their 2021 World Series MVP, Jorge Soler, along with reliever Luke Jackson from the Giants. Soler's power bat is coming home, folks. He's not exactly a defensive wizard, but who cares when he's slashing homers? The Braves outfield has been like a patchwork quilt lately, and Soler's bat is the needle and thread they need. Let's hope he can sew up some wins down in Atlanta. And in a blockbuster three-way deal, the Dodgers, Cardinals, and White Sox are trading more players in a fantasy baseball league on draft night. Eric Fetty heads to the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond is off to the Dodgers, and the White Sox get a mix of prospects. It's like musical chairs, but with a lot more money and stats involved. Fetty's been killing it this season, proving that sometimes a change of scenery, or a continent in his case, can do wonders. The MLB trade deadline is today at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll recap all the deals here tomorrow. Now let's pivot to the NFL where the Texans' Danico Autry just got hit with a six-game suspension for violating the league's policy on performance enhancers. Autry claims he didn't knowingly take anything illegal, blaming a shady pharmacy. Hey, Danico, next time maybe just stick to the Gatorade, right? He'll be back on October 20th, just in time to hopefully salvage his season and the Texans' defensive line. And finally, in the world of Olympic chaos, the men's triathlon in Paris has been postponed because the Seine River is, well, not exactly sparkling clean. Heavy rains have turned the river into an E. coli soup, which is definitely not the kind of swimming these athletes are trained for. Organizers are scrambling to reschedule, but Mother Nature isn't playing ball. I guess the lesson here is... When in Paris, stick to the wine, not the water. Man, they paid a billion dollars to clean that river, and it's not working. All right, that's all for today, sports fans. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit sportsnot.com for sports updates. And join us here tomorrow for another whirlwind of sports madness. Stay sporty, everybody.